Hello everyone, Pally here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. This is not a continuation of the deep dive. Nothing this week will be. I'm sure a lot of you have heard the news, but I'm getting married. Holly and I are making it official, and uh, we're taking a week off to go celebrate. So I've prepared some Heroes videos for you guys. It's just me having fun in the Nexus, just like the good old days. Playing some of my favorite characters to boot. And in this game, some flashy stuff actually happened. It was kind of exciting. I hope you guys enjoy the content, not only this week, but this one too. If you like it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll be back soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Cursed Hollow today. The friendly team. Ooh, wait, that's uh, up ahead of talent. The friendly team, Kira, the Butcher, Hanzo, Anduin, and Johanna. The enemy team, Orphea, Genji, Tassadar, Muradin, and Lieutenant Mama Morales. Ooh, that's a lot of damage coming out. I'm going to go around the circle, get off over here, and then we'll pop our heal just to get a little bit of extra healing off of these guys. Genji jumping into tower range does have a lot of bleeds on him. We can keep hitting him to keep those bleeds rolling. I actually don't think I'm afraid yet. I should be. Oh, I was going to go around one more time. I was going to go around one more time. So we played this Morales last game, and they're really good. I think we played this Genji last game, too, and they're really good. So we're going to have to focus up and maybe assassinate someone in particular. What is this chase here around the map? Orphea with the disrespect coming up to the top lane. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it looks like Muradin's going to take this top. So uh, I did go for the level one bleed quest. I don't think I'm going for a bleed build. I just like getting bleeds on people. Maybe I will go for a bleed build. I don't know. I feel like we need a, a little bit more damage. Come here. <laughs> Don't stun me. Just keep letting me hit you. Thank you. Yeah, maybe we will do it. Uh, I was thinking about taking her new level 20, the utility belt. But I think versus Morales, I'm probably going to need the AoE stun. So let's assume we will. This is great for my stacks. Thank you, Muradin. Murray can. Not Murray don't. And he's like, ah, this damage doesn't matter. I'm murdered. I'm just going to heal up. Little does he know. He's turning me into my final form. Right now, he's doing that. Don't feel confident now, Muradin. Murakan yourself somewhere else. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, literally sit behind one minion so he can't stun me. Bye, Muradin. He lives. He lives. That's simple healing. I shouldn't have done that. He's gonna respect my damage now. Hero, Maybe. Gather tribute. <laughs> is he a second dinner? <laughs> he sure is. Oh, he's not gonna respect my damage at all. This is great. Uh, attacking heroes grants armor. I still think I want that because we're gonna have to dive pretty deep into the enemy line. Wait, it's an auto attack? It's an auto attack Tassadar, so no, we get the evasion. Walk with my bleeds. Walk with them. <laughs> Come back to me. <laughs> I was thinking about just throwing out a cue. Oh, I guess I should have. He really is still coming in. The friendly team in position for the gang. Saw Muradin coming from across the map. Mama Morales almost got the full channel. I'm going to ride this around. Done. Evasion now that Genji's here. And then my attention is going to be right here, I think. Unless I get pushed away one more time. I have my lasso in three seconds. That's where a lot of my sustain is going to come from. I'm going to use it here. Sustain. Q out. Oh, back you, back you, back you. Keep the bleed up on Genji, though. Pop a heal. Burden's going to be mad at me soon, I think. I gotta ride it. Pop a heal. Woo! Are we still on objective? I just got zipped. I think Morales would be able to outheal us, quite frankly. It's like I'm doing good AoE damage, but it's not a lot of AoE damage. Like, we're just spreading it around a little bit. I could interrupt this one more time if we really want to. I don't think I really want to. Oh. Awkward. Awkward. 
pop it once. Awkward. Okay. Thank you, Anduin. Thank you. Uh, Blood Rage heals for more against, against low health. I need that for sure. Going right in for the stun. Unfortunately, Muradin came up behind me. That was all of my healing, and I couldn't back up from the Tassadar ship there. <coughs> okay. Well, the Butcher's up in the top lane, and he's getting his meat picked up. What are his stacks at now? 23. Not as high as I was hoping when I looked up there. 23. 23 in five minutes. I've been in my own little world, I think. Oh, I have. Look at the damage we have done. Holy crap. I've been playing my own game 100%. Okay. Uh, Genji's pushing down middle. That was the first objective of the map, right? Yes, indeed. We are recentered. We're back in. Uh, Genji rotating up top. Uh, we should be able to farm middle, no problem. If the butcher wants some meat, he can rotate over, but it looks, it looks like he's getting a camp. Uh, enemy Orphea is pushing out bottom lane right now. Maybe we catch her on the rotation, but we don't know where Muradin is. So let's do Muradin and Morales are right over there. You think she's coming up? Hi. Oh, good juke. Oh, you went back in. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Very well. The four-man rotation to stop me during an objective. <laughs> totally normal thing to have happen. Totally normal that our entire team ignores the objective we're next to as well. Totally normal interaction. Friendly team is one level down, so we don't have those ultimates on the same tier. Uh, bottom lane's pushing. I might run back into the fight, to be honest. We might be back in on it. Uh, definitely gonna be picking up the AoE silence at level 20, so that means we need to pick up the stun here. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Unrelenting Strikes is online. They just kind of used everything. So if we see a good opportunity to go in, I want to take it. Like right now. Dave? Any, uh, we can out damage a Morales, surely. Surely. Surely we can do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's stun bird in here. God, I missed the fucking lasso. He's taking way too long to walk away. It looks like our butcher's gonna be eating today. And the objective is up, right, as we got two kills. This should be the easiest rotation over there we have ever had. Uh, I'm gonna keep sieging this, though. If Genji wants to walk into my face, we'll put bleeds on him. In fact, I, I am way overconfident in my ability to beat a Genji, especially with Morales behind them. So we'll, we'll back away, we'll give him some space. Uh, easy lane for the Butcher to get up top. He's already back up to 90 stacks, moving in the right direction for sure. Uh, we can clear this lane with him to help him out. Uh, most of the enemy team is missing. We only see Tassadar and Mill right now. I'll head down there and see if we can do anything. I mean, they're probably taking that camp to my left, if I had to guess. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the map knowledge. Tassadar rotated up already. Oh. Okay, going in, stunning Orphea on the side. We're gonna stay in for the light bomb explosion too. And I'll channel my ult after that as well. Hitting three members of the enemy team. The silence from the butcher locks down the area. I have another stun in just a second. Just a second. And I'm saving it for Genji, that motherfucker. No, please die. Please die, please. Please die. He's not gonna die. Damn it. Oh, you know, you would think the point blank skill shots <laughs> would be the easiest ones to hit, but I don't know why I can't do it. Uh, increase revolving sweep on main target, consecutive basic attacks to deal bonus damage. Yeah, let's get that. That way, when we lasso onto Morales, we can really start the pain train. Start the pain train. 
friendly team takes top boss. Didn't need me for that. That is for show. Sure. We're done with our bleed quest. I don't know what happened. I'm just updating you guys that it is, in fact, over. Uh, I'm going to try to kill these guys before we... Oh, the boss root. Holy shit. Enemy team picked up the tribute. I didn't see it was down there. Sorry. My bad. Uh, on the way now. Oh, we are a butcher down, though. Their Genji's kind of over-eager there on the side. I like this light bomb quite a lot. Can we do anything with it? There's my stun, and I'm going back to the building. Ooh. Ulting, here we go. Oh, did you see my fucking W cooldown? We had so many bleeds out. All I needed was point fucking two seconds and I would have popped back up to full health. That is so unfortunate. Well, boss is still doing the Lord's work up in the top lane, tickling that tower down into size. It looks like it is not going to be victorious. Oh, especially if you stop to cast. What a rookie mistake. Tribute is over in four seconds and we are back up on the map. Orphea way too far forward. Let's go back in. She, is she unfucking killable Is that some Morales bullshit? Uh, I'm hitting her, I swear. I swear I'm hitting her. <laughs> Wait, they're getting in the mom van and they're leaving! No, you don't, bud. <laughs> Not fucking today, you don't. That bleed is mine. And at the 11 minute mark, the butcher has finished his quest. We're eating good now. We're eating good now. Uh, everyone come down here with me. We'll take this boss and there's not a goddamn thing they can do about it. And just to make sure, I'm gonna stand right here. Oh, good engage by Archohana. The bleeds are still up on Orpheus. She's feeling the pain. Okay. Uh, I might need to leave. We can lasso this if we need to. I'm almost level 16 as well. If someone could just hit level 16 really fast, that would fucking save me. Lasso is interrupted and then dodged by Genji. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we want booming kick. This will allow me to go in and do a massive engage. We're just kind of waiting on the back line here. And hi. Uh, luckily, he's not a spell power tester. That was an auto attack tester, so that Q of his didn't hurt too much. We're going to rotate back down to the lane and watch this boss be successful with his building. That's what I like to see. Next tribute's coming up at the top of the map. Going to be there in 20 seconds, so I'm going to head back and get full health, and then we will rotate in. Uh, booming Kick gives me a big AoE when I reactivate the lasso. These guys are super duper grouped around the Morales, uh, so that should be good. It should be really good. Once we hit 20, we're turning our channeled stun into a silence stun as well. So if we can if we can just jump on top of Morales there, that's going to stop all of the healing entirely. Uh, so I think we have a pretty good plan. I'm not moving up to do this. I'm just soaking in lane, but I'm close by if they need me. It doesn't seem like the enemy team is responding to this, but if, you know, if they do, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm paying attention. I promise. That is our second tribute. Third is a curse. Uh, so it looks like the next objective is going to be a little bit more contested. I do need to be a bit worried. I don't see anyone on the map. There they are going for middle lane right now. We'll see if we can rotate down and help out. Murden on the front line already taking good damage, but healing up. Maybe I don't leave. I'm going to stay and I'm going to kill this building and kill this camp. Uh, that way it's not pushing during the next objective. That's my plan anyway. Genji's down in the bottom lane, so assuming the enemy team isn't rotating on me, I think we're okay. If they do rotate, I don't know, I might be able to might be able to fight back a little bit. Let's find out. Double stun on Morales, that sucks. Uh, Genji goes down next to us. I'm looking at Tassadar here, but I can't get close enough yet. I have grapple in one second. I'm going to grapple to Muradin. He is dead. Nice. And just like that, the tribute is up. And we are going to be cursing the enemy team. With only Tassadar alive, I don't need to leave either. So we're going to stay here and we're going to keep pushing. Get even more siege damage in. 
You're gonna pull me out, right? <laughs> Good, we were on the same page. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I win this by staying in here. Uh, they are surely going to get the tribute. I believe in them. But first, they took a quick detour to a power play up in the top lane. Uh, I can rotate through middle and get that pushing again in the right direction. Um, 260 meat on the butcher. Man, when it was speeding time, the gate was left open. He's devouring everything. Team is a little split at the moment. I see Tassadar trying to defend here for the enemy team. Um, you're gonna save me, right? You're gonna save me, right? You're gonna save me? Uh, can you save me yet? <laughs> at least this time the buildings were turned off. I wasn't expecting that big of a jump, but we're okay. We're okay. Uh, this building's dead. Boss is pushing top. I believe this is what we call GG. Silent Killer coming online at level 20, though, if they do grow up again, group up again. We have the ult ready to go. Man, I felt really out of it in this one. I hope my commentary was okay. Thank you for watching. We're having fun this week. I probably said that in the intro. I'm getting married. BP. Just because they saved me, that is the most well-deserved NBP I've ever seen. <laughs> 45 percent of our team fight damage. God damn. Well, god damn. There's five people on the team. God damn. Well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Talents we had for this game. Bleed in the early game with Fatal Wounds, Upstage, and Healmonger. Then Unrelenting Strikes into The Hunted. Booming Kick and Silent Killer to close off the game. I only went for Booming Kick and our... Well, I probably would have taken that regardless, but... Booming Kick was mostly to stop them from grouping up around the Morales. We wanted to have an answer for that. And we are a very good answer for that. I am a big fan of her new talents where you take the um, lingering ailment, you reduce their armor, and then go crazy in with utility about. I do think that's really fun. And we're starting to see some representation for this on her win rates in this patch. People are using the new stuff. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.